first thing you're going to do, or the first thing you're going to want to do, is find R. You're going to want to find that common ratio. Because if the absolute value of R is greater than 1, then there is no sum, so we just have to write there is no sum. All right, if it turns out to be less than 1, then we can go ahead and calculate it. So this is definitely going to be a two-stepper. All right, so we're going to do step 1. And we want to find that common ratio. Fine. And I'm going to do CR for common ratio. All right. Now, some of you are going to be able to tell exactly what you need to multiply by to get the next one. But others of you are not going to see it as easily. So that's okay. So let's do the math to find it. This is my second term. This is my first term. Okay. So if I take the negative 3 sixteenths as my second term divided by the first term. Okay, that way you're not guessing at it and you're not, you know, struggling to try to find that common ratio. Take the second term, divide by the first term. All right, probably keep it, switch it, flip it's going to be the easiest for you. Negative 3 over 16 times an 8 third. So 3's cross off. 8 over 16 reduces to lowest terms over 1 half. And don't forget the negative sign. So my common ratio is... A negative one half that's my common ratio now I need to decide whether the absolute value of that is less than one or greater than one so I'm going to do the absolute value of a negative one half all right absolute value of negative one half is one half and one half is less than one which is a very poor way that I wrote that but it's my thinking I took the absolute value of negative one half I got a one half one half is less than one, check. So because it's less than one, I can find the sum. Had the absolute value of that common ratio been greater than one, I would have said it doesn't have a sum. Okay, so because it does have a sum, I can go to step two and find my sum. All right, and for this sum, it's the S equals a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Okay, a sub 1, first term, 3 eighths. So 3 eighths is going to go into the numerator. 1 minus r. My r is a negative 1 half. I'm going to work that across. 1, basically, plus 1 half. What is that, 3 halves? So 3 eighths over 3 halves. Keep it, switch it, flip it works pretty nice. So 3 eighths times 2 thirds. That's going to let those 3's cross off. So 2 eighths, reduce the lowest term, 1 fourth. So my sum is going to be 1 fourth.